Alright. I am gonna say something funny. Now, this was laid at my feet, uh, at my little church that I went to yesterday, led by the Holy Spirit. My wife was being herself. And um, we had an interesting conversation where she politely <laughs> and in the most amazing way possible suggested I ascertain a wetsuit. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that. That was a good plan, babe. So I was feeling my wife's heart and the songs that were in it. It went, there were three of them. I want to tell you something, show you something. That's a good one. I'm going to stand by you. Even if we're breaking down the majesty, majesty. All right. And then whatever um, <clears throat> I'm saying in these videos, my prophets will light up shortly on it. So I blessed Judah yesterday. And the way that happened, I went into my little church and I was already targeted a bit. So that tells me there's still a residue of some familiar spirits in there, but it was much, much uh, lighter and much, much more um, doing what I wanted it to do, which basically provide help to um, people that feel dejected, lost. And I heard many conversations, someone saying the Bible won't save me and all of that. And I'll say this, it will. If you're seeking me, then I will tell you what to do in the scripture. After John was put in prison, Jesus went into Galilee proclaiming the good news of God. The time has come. So <clears throat> I also got to hear um, through the pastor, one of my favorite things. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And when I got targeted, <clears throat> I was just sitting at a table checking on some things <clears throat> for me and my wife. And uh, someone said, you have to be in the sanctuary or you have to go outside. Okay. And then I was, wait. <laughs> so I was walking up and I was, oh, familiar spirit. Okay. But then the spirit said, go into the sanctuary. Because I'm not going to lend my spirit to a church right now. I'm just not. I'm sticking with um, my church. And the structure is my prophets are up here. So my YouTube prophets, I speak directly to. And most of them are from the tribe of Judah that I utilize. I'm using the church as an introduction. I look at it more as a nursery. That is not to impugn anybody's wisdom, thoughts, experience. But I also realize many have been coming to me very, very recently. And then... Um, I was looking for one that was a four square denomination. I'm not gonna do that anymore because I have witnessed firsthand people believing they're speaking in tongues or people believing um, it's the Holy Spirit prophesying through them and it is not. So that's dangerous to me right now. I'll stick with my prophets. I don't want people confused. Um, <clears throat> And then I walked right into um, them talking about Judah. So the spirit said, okay, you just fulfilled scripture. And um, blessing my kingdom. And many will say, Lord, you are not my king. And I will say, I am so glad to hear that. Wait, what? No, no, I'm, I'm okay with that. Why do you think I didn't want to be king 2,000 years ago? <laughs> it's up to you. If I'm your king, then I will be your king. I will be a good king. 
If I am not your king, I am not your king. So we're at the point in our scripture where um, the enemy is locked up. <clears throat> and I was analyzing what happened in my marriage, of course. And the spirit, and I'll get you that one little thing in your heart in a minute, babe. I was praying about it this morning and I found it. And the spirit was saying, well, Adam and Eve, for what you have done, a woman will try and rule over man or man. And people don't understand what that means. It means it was going to happen anyway. <laughs> so I was just praying about how fun my wife is. I'm feeling her heart. And yesterday she was a lot happier. You're welcome, babe. I promised her. Joy and peace. I made sure she got that. And she's being very talkative. So my wife is right side up again. So I rejoice at that. That's the first step. I'm going to help you prodigals out with this as well. Everything that you're struggling with, your kingdom spouse has already overcome. That was kind of always going to be a part of marriage. One has more experience in the things of God than the other. So I needed to humble a lot of people. And one way to humble people is simply let you make your own decisions. And then once you realize what that leads to, then you don't feel um, so This is difficult, I can never do this, I don't want to do this, because a lot of you were just on a path too enticed by it and thinking that, like many things, <clears throat> it was a trap. And I always try and help my people avoid traps. And the best way to avoid a trap, don't be wayward. The scripture says a double-minded man should expect nothing. So narrow is always the gate that leads to life. Narrow is the path that leads to life. Wide is the path that leads to destruction. This scripture will always remain true, beloveds. There is a way that seems right in a man's heart, but ultimately leads to destruction. It is spoken of repeatedly so you're getting into your routine um what this teaches you beloveds a lot of people just don't take my advice but the more you have learned that i'm always right then you don't need the proof you don't need the proof. You don't need the proof. You just trust me. So one of my prophets was talking about uh, DNA kits, and I've seen this kind of becoming a discussion. I was more focused on my president at the time. I got one because um, the Holy Spirit had led me into a discussion with my earthly mom who was born in Cairo. And then my earthly dad went to Cairo and I was saying, well, okay, there's more than just coincidence here. And um, <clears throat> it took a while for them to figure out my bloodline. So, I had told people, and I still believe that it's not 100% exact because it doesn't have every single bloodline on the earth in it. If you're led by the Holy Spirit to get one, then there's a reason. If you're not, then don't. But I tell everybody that. If the Holy Spirit doesn't lead you to do it, don't do it. We got into a situation where... Um, 
and being so involved in it for a reason so that I can explain it to you where familiar spirits infiltrated my church. <clears throat> but the way it happened is what we need to be looking at, beloveds. So if a familiar spirit was able to get you off your path and into something or around someone, then you simply got overpowered. Once you got overpowered, the second death, which is simply you once were dead in your sin, I raised you to life, the second death. Then you went back to it, died again. I tried warning people about it. That happened. So looking at where you're at in your story is very, very important right now. So the kingdom marriages thing is the first thing I restored to myself was my wife. I never lost the Holy Spirit. If my wife had fully understood the Trinity, the triune God, me, and she understood there is no separation between me and God, and never has been, never will be, a lot of our um, issues in our marriage could have been avoided. So this is why it's been so important for me to make sure that the name Jesus, Jesus is God. So that we can stop all the uh, underlying little things that happen in people's lives because of everybody's different opinions rather than truth. So I put it right in front of you with the Levant thing. <clears throat> and I never jump to conclusions about anything, but I can tell you 100%. It's in stone. And then whatever the Holy Spirit wants to reveal after that will be revealed. But the Holy Spirit gave me kind of a snapshot of why it's so important that I did do the DNA test. And what that's going to lead to. So always be um, mindful of what you're supposed to be doing and are you doing it? Because if you're in my kingdom, you have a role and that's where you're gonna get your fulfillment and your peace and your joy and you're connected to the vine. Now, one thing that my wife had said to me and I was trying to, um, she said, you're just going to pretend to love me so you can drag me to hell. Pretend. I don't pretend anything. <laughs> I said, pretend to love you. Not possible, babe. So my wife was sitting on this bed and she had a... Um, familiar spirit in there. <clears throat> and we just dangled it right over the abyss, right inside here. So no, babe, I'm not. You're welcome, babe. And then my wife has a, um, a thought process where she's getting over it now. And that's another thing that I've been trying to um, express to my kingdom spouses because my kingdom spouses have also kind of been weary about some things. Now, I commanded them to forgive. That is a commandment. I said, you do not forgive, then I will not forgive. That's in scripture. So that is a commandment. That way you don't get unforgiveness, beloveds. And then you let it go. So you guys are now out of your trial um, participation in your marriage into now you're going to be a wife. Now you're going to be a husband. Married, already in God's sight, but now you're going to take it seriously, value it, and love each other. 
So be excited about that because it's not a normal bond that you guys have created over this really, really hard season, feeling each other, etc. right? <clears throat> not everybody is getting one of these, beloveds. And this is the only one you're getting. Um, you each are to lift each other up. You're each there for each other. You are your person's light. You are your person's best friend. You are your person's spouse, beloveds. I got to see um, a lot of things in the spirit in this last season dealing with all of this so that I could explain it to you thoroughly what happened. This way, you can leave it in the past and realize the biggest thing, your spouse is not coming back to you with demons. I took care of that. Each marriage got into its own situation. Each, because normally I would have just said, read the five love languages, go and do likewise. But this was um, <clears throat> way too... Uh, immersed in dark demonic spirits which is what split a lot of people apart i know for a fact um when me and my wife were living together in that place <clears throat> that spirit was trying to get her away from me and then the holy spirit was having me sabotage by moving quickly whatever that spirit had told her and it was difficult to really uh, accomplish anything for God because we were never on the same page. I would wake up every single morning, just sit in there talking to um, the Holy Spirit. And then she'd say, well, what did God tell you? And then it got to the point where I could no longer fully explain what God had explained to me because that spirit was hearing it and then would push her in a different direction. So that happened a lot in your guys' marriage. Someone was saying, that makes so much sense. Being able to communicate with your spouse, beloveds. Communication, communication, communication. I've been telling all my king and spouses, limit contact, but keep in contact. I'm working on your prodigal. So you prodigals know who you are. Today is the day where you realign with me and you return to your kingdom spouse who is ready, willing, and happy about it. Praise about you every single day. Believe me, I hear it. What else do I need to touch on? Um, oh, okay. So one thing that I had to do was find the nests and they're in major cities. That's why I'm moving you out of major cities. Unfortunately, this is gonna get worse before it gets better. So your kingdom spouses are very, very important. And I've got you situated financially. I've got you situated in a way where you won't be stressing about things others will. And then my building churches are going to be sanctuaries so <clears throat> the moves that i've been making in my life have been to set me and my wife up for success your kingdom spouse is already set up for success as well because they listen to me um this season of restoration is going to happen quickly way quicker than people think and day by day, everything's going to get better and better and better. I've got us situated. One, I was being grateful for doors to the outside, good spiritual atmosphere. I have a backyard. 
Um, already established. So is your kingdom spouse. Everything will get a lot better for you guys, all right? As the spirit leads, contact your spouse. Everything should be a lot easier for you to communicate now. One reason I shut down communication between spouses. Until I knew that I had finished the work and your spouse was demon free, you wouldn't have been able to communicate with them. And anything you would have said would have been twisted. And I was remarking to myself, I was like, wow, the enemy really did do that. Might as well have told me anything you say to her, I'm going to flip it on her. And I was uh, really impressed on how hard my wife had fought to stay out of that mindset. So her mind got very, very strong. You got much stronger, babe. And this was laid at my feet, babe, I guess for our church. You have to have these things. It's funny, in this too, it should be stone, but the Holy Spirit wanted it in here, so it's in here. Um, I got some stuff so we can do this properly. <laughs> I thought it was a nice touch. Um, and this is funny. That's a type of Hebrew language, actually. So you guys should be um, getting things restored back to you and resting. That means just love each other, have fun, talk, don't fight. Where if you're going to fight, at least you know how to fight now. Me and my wife were in one of my favorite stores and there was a book I told her we should get. It said, How to Fight, and she didn't work <laughs> it. But a lot has happened. And I just wanted to get us to a point where I could answer her questions and then have her accept the answer, have it come to her heart, heal her spirit, and then we leave the past in the past is my plan. And we continue with our life. Eventually, you guys are going to have weddings. It's going to be amazing. Stick with me. I love you.